Good morning, how are we all? I am in bed, I am not feeling well at all. We are all really poorly and our Christmas content has sort of gone down the tube a little bit. But I am trying to pick myself up and get some stuff filmed. So I've got some bits to show you today. I have got the Christmas Eve boxes for the children. I'm super excited about these this year. Um, maybe not as excessive and expensive as last year's, but I love them. Even just the boxes I love. So I'm going to show you the boxes first. So oh, these are the boxes. Oh my goodness. They are divine. I was hoping to keep last year's Peppa Pig boxes, but Rowan wrecked one. So we've ended up with new ones. I need to get some proper ones made up. So I think I'm going to do that next year and then I'll have them and I don't have to keep buying boxes. But for this year, I just had to get these 100 Year of Wonders and I think I'm going to put Christmas decks in afterwards. Um, and I need to either get a Sharpie to write on here, like a white Sharpie or silver Sharpie or some stickers with their name but these were three pound each in asda in the uk i don't know if you can get them in america but i should imagine you can get them somewhere in america a different version but they're just so gorgeous actually like they're just so gorgeous like i don't know i think they're uh, amazing they don't say christmas anywhere else so i might even be able to put like a big sticker over there and then use them in the children's room actually so yeah, I love those. So let's get into Isla's box. So the first thing I've got Isla is this like bead maze. It's super, super nice. Um, and you like, she can push the balls around in there. Um, I found this in a garden centre, but I should imagine Amazon will have all of these now. Relatively cheap. Um, America and the UK, I should imagine. Um, I was pressing it through the plastic, so it's quite hard. But yeah, it really moves around. It's quite fun, actually. I must admit, it's quite, quite addictive. Um, she's got one with glitter in uh, that she had as a, a gift ages ago, and this literally is just like the next step up, and you can really feel the balls in there. So. It could be quite calming if you've got autism as well. This one's just a bit more sensory giving. Like there's, if I can show you, there's actual like hard shapes in here that you can feel for and find. Yeah, it's just something a little bit different. So what else have we got in here? So two of the things people have seen on my page already. I got this and this in a sensory um, blind bag. So I put those in. I think we're going to end up getting chocolate on that guy. Kids. But I put those in. And then I love, love, love this. I think this is such a cool idea. It literally is a pet and a hair bobble. So you can have it open like this and literally put it in your hair around a burn or something. And then you can tighten it up. And then it's just like a little fiddly... Um, oh, what is it? Like a fiddly... Um, my animal but i think isla will love this as like a bracelet so i try and put it on my wrist just like that so i think she's gonna love that um and if i put it on her left arm her right hand is the best hand for her she can um isla's got cerebral palsy sorry um she'll fiddle with that so i think she'll find that really sensory and really calming as well she can get overwhelmed in busy situations, so this will be really good for that. So I've got lots of little things like this, which I just love. Look at this little Winnie the Pooh. He's so cute. I found him for like £3. He says he's a Snuggles, but he's a bit like a Squisham. And he's a little key ring, so again, I can put that on a... I say the baby bag, but I just mean like her changing bag, her just everyday bag, really. Just all of her needs bag, I should say. I can put that on there and it's something to entertain her with. So I like that. I like that. 
these cups are from Home Bargains. $2.99, about $3.50, I can't remember. It is very snazzy. Very snazzy. I'm dying of cold. Really bright and flashy. And then if, like with Isla, I'll have it on the plain colours because she's um, got epilepsy, so the flashing might just do her in a little bit. <laughs> She's not light sensitive, but I don't like to risk it. So, lovely Christmas cup. Really nice and they're really big. I've got one for both of the children. And then you just turn it off. I think it's just as nice off, actually. It's even nicer off than on. So, I've got them that. Isla's got this little goals. Uh, Christmas... Uh, what is it? It's not Christmas like outfits and there's all stickers in here that you can dress the Barbies up with like that. So I thought it was quite a nice little thing for her to do and there's loads of different outfits for the girls, skin colour she can learn about and just all sorts, you know, how to like, how fashion looks different on people, I don't know. I just thought I might make it a learning experience, so I really love that really nice really nice i love that um these were 99p in home bargains as well in the uk um 99p and you actually do get a hair bow and you get four hair clips in there and then you get like a random collector's card stickery thing you can collect but they're really nice sets and so they're like themed so they'll have like a black set in there a red set purple or blue and it'll all be themed around that one dolly and then you get um, a little leaflet in there and it tells you all of the sets so I think I've picked up about four of these and she's got some here some there one in a stocking you know so they're everywhere and then this I picked up which I thought was fantastic so if I can get this off one I think do I have to screw it hang on just being I'm just being completely weak there this literally is pens and they link in together and I thought they'd be quite nice because she struggles to hold things she likes to put a finger in things so I thought these would be fantastic for her to actually colour with um, and also they're uber sensory they've got different touches on them different textures so for anybody again that likes textures um um who's got sensory needs or you know autism or anything like that um these might be really good as well you know you've got a really good sensory feedback in the hand from them so yeah i think these are a real good find these are from the works but i am seeing them spring up in other places now so i think soon they'll be pretty available everywhere and there's sort of different shapes as well to begin with like these are all squares and but I thought these were the best for Isla to actually use uh, with her hand skills. So stretchy bands, squid, squidgy stretchy bands. I think everyone knows how much, well, everyone knows how much they are because it says they're only £2. These are from the works, but I think everyone knows now what stretchy bands are. They're just stretchy, stretchy, stretchy. Really love this um, hanging door sign. So everything's just um foam and she can stick it on so it's just really easy for her to do so i love the fact that that was really easy for her to do so i thought i'll grab that um next up is this crazy soap um bath time fun foaming soap we haven't had this for years but i just thought um it might be a bit young for her but i thought it might actually help her wash because it like lingers around longer than like say bath or body wash would in the bath um so yeah, I thought she just would enjoy it. This might be a bit young for her and a lot of other people that's got 11 year olds, but Rowan's got a finger painting. And again, with her hand skills and stuff, I think she'll like it. So we just grabbed them one each and they were also on three for two. So there we are. We've got some neon colouring. I've kind of gone a little bit un Christmas Eve for the Christmas Eve boxes because I just find like you give them on Christmas Eve and then they've got nothing, you know, and then two days later Christmas is over. So I thought she would really like that. I've had a Timu order. I've just got her some 
sensory Mickey head. Really nice fluffy ball. So obviously they're going to go together. So it's going to be the new start of sensory key ring. Really nice. Really cheap. They're probably about a pound each, if that. If that. And then last but not least for Isla, we've got Christmas puddings. Um, and these are like popping candy Christmas puddings. So and they love those. Yeah, so guys, that's everything I got for Isla. Um, like I said, she has got cerebral palsy and epilepsy. So it might be some of the stuff might be a bit young for her. Um, but I hope that the sensory items have given you some good ideas, um, especially if you've got children with special needs. And then I'm going to go on to my toddler now, Rowan. So we've got the toddler's box. He is two, um, three next juice, so about two and a half now. Um, so yeah, we'll do his box now. Um, I'm really sorry if I'm muffling. I'm not feeling good at all. So please bear with me. So, Rowan's box. So again, we've got the flashy cup. Put it onto that because I don't want the flashing much in the video, just in case someone's watching. Um, that's a, got a flash and aversion, sorry. And it's not nice on everyone's eyes, is it? Um, so again, that was two ninety nine home bargains. She's got the squishy foam. So this just is like really big foamy soap for them to have fun in the bath with. So I think that'd be nice for Rowan. He's got uber, like, these are like really bouncy balls. Um, and as Isla's got the sensory one, so I've got him that one. It's like really nice. I put the Rainmaker in Rowan's, but I know we'll be fed up of it and Isla will get the use out of it, not Rowan. But I put it in his little Rainmaker. Again, he's got some Christmas puddings. Um, yeah, they love these. They had them, the Halloween version and they're like popping candy, but they're like, um, they're all soft, like praline inside. They're all soft with popping candy. They're really nice. They're, they're really addictive. So their home bargains as well then my teaming bits i've got rowan the prime bottle he seems to understand the prime situation um and then i've got him this like blue um sort of sensory keyring he likes eyelids he keeps trying to steal them so i'm basically just going to make him one um i've got that and that and then i'm going to put this um sully on um it's like a squishem. I've also got some dinosaur squishems, and I was wondering if I could sew some ribbon on him to put him on as well. We have got a little play doh. I love this. I found this for 49p in Home Bargains um, in the UK, and this has got shape. This has got a straw that you can break off, and then you can make bananas and strawberries. Probably could, well, you could try and make a straw, but yeah, you can. Um, make bananas and strawberries and so there's two different colors in the set i just thought this was fantastic for the money for 50p um for a little stocking filler or anything even just as in play-doh for 50p um like two colored play-dohs um for 50p is an absolute bargain so really good for travel like really good for just a quick play Really good for taking out with you if you're going for a day out and you know that your child's going to need some like something to play with at lunchtime or some or like break time, you know, if you're having a stop somewhere. So I thought that was a really good idea. Again, we've got finger painting. Rowan's obsessed with a red red buses. So when I saw red buses on the front of here, I had to get it. Um, and these were three for two at Hobbycraft. Then we have got this massive jumbo jungle snap and they are huge they're so big that the box just can't really contain them and these are like um they're very thin but they're almost like a thin plastic rather than like they're not card they're like a thin plastic so i just thought they were really really lovely really nice Let's show you again i think these are like 2.99 i bought these from the range uk 
but again amazon will do anything like this jungle snap just a large jungle snap i just thought it'd be really fun for us to play and also he can learn all of the jungle animals as well so you know like panda and things like that he's more on farm animals at the moment so yeah i really like the idea of him exploring more animals and last but not least last but not least i've got the poor i've got a poor patrol painting set so um there's three in there which i think is really nice oh there's six water-based oh paint sorry no there isn't there's three water-based paints one paintbrush and three character prints but i thought that would be really nice for him to do to make an absolute mess of but it'll entertain him on christmas eve when christmas eve is sort of a lazy day for us as a family but yeah that's everything we've got for rowan big pile so yeah that's everything i've got in my christmas eve boxes i've got one surprise for i left for her birthday i'm going to quickly show you at the end of this video um i really tried just to get stuff for the kids that they're going to use and um it's just going to last us a bit longer than just christmas eve um thank you so much for watching this vlog i'm really not well so and the kids are not well and my husband's not well we're all pretty much dying of like sore throat and really bad cold and stuff and a cough so i've been having plenty of coffee during this vlog um and you can probably tell i look awful i feel it as well so i'm just going to show you isla's surprise for a birthday so here it is it is pink that's right it's a pink ipad i'm so excited look i am so excited i've actually done this on a contract so i haven't paid outright for it but uh if you know me and you know us and you know and you've been watching our vlogs for a long time you will know i smashed her tablet on the way to disneyland paris i sort of i can't explain it but i sort of sat on it so I didn't, if i fully sat on the tablet i wouldn't have smashed it but i sat sort of on the edge and i had a bag on it and sort of so it bent and then it smashed it cracked all the way up and it's just not been safe for her to play with so it's usable and i've taped the bit i've smashed but um it's just not really good for her to play with she just can't use it so she's got a new pink one uh i paid 20 pound up front and then it's 29 pound a month for her contract but then she'll have the internet and she can use it anywhere um hopefully we'll be able to like use it in the us and stuff like that because it'll actually have contracts that'd be a bit better than the last one so yes yeah, so i'm sort of paying monthly for it but i just thought i'm gonna go for it you know i saw her offer and i thought i'm going for it so I'm super excited to give her that for her birthday. So thanks so much for watching. So sorry this vlog is a bit uh, wobbly. I'm using my iPhone because I'm just not very well. And I've been really wanting to get some of this Christmas content out. I mean, look, you can tell how ill I look. Um, um, so just thanks so much for watching. Thanks for bearing with me. And I'm really sorry that the Christmas content this year on the channel is just a bit... Um, but we've got lots planned and I'm hoping after this next week we're better. We've got Isla's birthday. We've got loads of Christmas content um, coming from London. We're going to go to Harrods. We're going to go to Selfridges. We're going to go to the St Disney store. Um, we might try and get around some Christmas markets. We're going to try and film the Christmas lights. See, I'm really excited about all of that. I'm really excited about all of that. Um, we are looking also to do a Christmas light bus tour. So I think that would be really fun to vlog that if we do it uh just really we want to do it it's 12 pound each so if we can get onto it we're well, basically we're going to do it um but obviously with isla's wheelchair we want to be at the top and i just don't quite know how the logistics are going to work with that so i need to talk to the company and email the company and work out how we're going to deal with that because i don't want to sit in a wheelchair i want to sit in at the top so she can see all the christmas lights but again then it's the cold and making sure she's wrapped up and stuff so i just need to work the logistics out of that but yeah, hopefully that will happen. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I'm sure if you're still at this point in the vlog, thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one.